Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So whenever we are talking about uh, these uh, personality, personality traits and individual, the another important question comes in mind is what is about the intelligence and leadership. So naturally the personality plays an important role and uh, according to the personality and personality traits, uh, the leader uh, can have the effective leadership also, he can create the team also and the team effectiveness also. Now here in the intelligence and creativity, um, whenever we are talking about the individual, uh, first question arises what is the intelligence and when we decide about the intelligence, uh, uh, then this uh, intelligence will be uh, taking care of uh, uh, that is the, the different uh, theories uh, like the Sternberg's uh, trichic theory of intelligence, divergent and convergent thinking. Uh, uh, so, people uh, there are so many uh, perceptions are there about this uh, divergent and convergent thinking that uh, who will be the more creative, who will be the more successful, creativity killers are there, cognitive resource theory uh, and as usual the case study research papers and the book recommendation will be there. So, making the simple complicated is the common place, uh, right? Uh, the, uh, the making the complicated simple aws aws uh, awesomely simple that is the creativity is there. So, therefore, in that case it becomes uh, very, very interesting, right? That is the uh, whatever you uh, simply complicated uh, is the uh, common place is there, right? But the, the complicated simple place uh, that are simply simple making this and that is a creativity. So, whether we are able to make that particular um, uh, uh, simple uh, um, that uh, creative place, uh, so that depends on the creativity of the individual. So, for that creativity, uh, first we have to understand the uh, intelligence. So, intelligence is a person's all around effectiveness in activities directed by the um, thought, intelligent lead, uh, by thought, right. So, therefore, this is the uh, whatever the activities are directed by the thought or by the individual, right, it is the end, then what is its effectiveness. So, uh, in intelligent leaders, uh, they are the faster learners are there, hmm? uh, we have seen in the personality also. Mm, type A personality, type B personality and in type, uh, type A personality they are, they are the uh, solution uh, finder and they are the more creative. So, because they are the faster learners are there and they make better assumptions, right? the deductions and the inferences are there. So, um, what are the assumptions are to be made that will be decided by these uh, intelligent uh, um, people and the better at creating a compelling vision and uh, st uh, strategizing to make their vision a reality. So, therefore, it is compelling the vision is there that is the how they are able to create that particular vision. They can develop the better solutions to the problems uh, and therefore, in that case uh, uh, the creative persons uh, always they are the solution provider. Um, can see more of the primary and secondary implications of their decisions uh, and they are able to visualize. That is why the leaders, uh, leaders are very creative because they are able to visualize the implication of their decisions are quicker on their field than leaders who are less intelligent are there. And uh, intelligence is relatively difficult uh, to change because of the heredity, but can be modified with education and experience is there. So, earlier it was told it is IQ cannot be changed, but now the theories have come which talk of, uh, uh, talk about that is the, with the education and experience uh, uh, you can change your intelligence also, your IQ score also. So, Robert Sternberg uh, in year 1990, uh, 1977 defined intelligence as the mental abilities necessary for adoption um, to as well as shaping and selection of any environmental context is there. Right. So, this is the uh, uh, individual's mental ability is there huh? and um, we have seen that is that, that is the uh, environment response to the environment in personality traits. Um, those uh, who are fast 
in response to the environment adaptability. So, that adoption to they therefore, they will be able to shaping a selection of any environmental context is there. Uh, and H. Gardner in 1993 an intelligence is the ability to solve problems to create products that are valued within one or more cultural settings are there. And F. N. Freeman in 2000 sensory capacity, capacity for perceptual recognition, quickness, range of flexibility or association. Uh, then the facility and imagination, span of attention, quickness or alertness in response is there. Uh, so, when we see the, the sequence of definitions from 1977 to 2000 and there that you know, so what we have observed is that, that is the, it is the capacity of an individual who is um, very fast, quick quick in the uh, uh, observations, who is the flexible and who is adaptable. So, uh, and we, we can see that is the intelligence is not a fixed quantity, right. So, it is relatively difficult to change like personality it is also an unseen quality and can be inferred only by observing the behavior is there. So, uh, intelligence, personality traits, preferences and values. Uh, the, these are the more difficult to change while the knowledge, experience and competencies and skills they are easier to change is there. So, it is not a fixed quantity although heredity plays a role intelligence can be modified through education and experience is there. So, um, however, uh, it, it is the uh, your the basic basic uh, um, the personality trait will be in uh, about intelligence that is the uh, analytic practical and creative is there. Now, but whatever the score is there or whatever the level of the intelligence is there and uh, that score or the intelligence of the uh, level of the intelligence uh, that we by the practical uh, knowledge. We provide the practical knowledge and the experience then definitely in that case uh, that level of the intelligence of the individual that that, that will enhance. So, uh, it is not like this that is the if you are having a particular intelligence as a heredity and then it will not be uh, it will not be changing. Then competencies are the skill behaviors are there and on the basis of the competencies and skills behavior and intelligence uh, uh, that can be changed. Now, Sternberg's uh, uh, trachic theory of intelligence is there that is the analytical creative and practical is there. So, in case of the analytical componential it is a prior knowledge um, for solving the problems, uh, learn new information, making judgment, evaluating problem solving and therefore, that is the intelligence is required with the analytical skills are there. Creative is required novelty problems, unique situations and the automation is there. While the practical contextual is there, so in that case of that adaptation, shaping and the selection is there. So, here we will find that is the whenever we are talking about the uh, the this Chernbuck's uh, trachic theory of intelligence is uh, in 1985 he has proposed this idea and he believes that ability to function effectively in the real world is an important indicator of intelligence. Uh, Sternberg broke his theory down into the following um, these uh, three sub theories are there and on basis of that prior knowledge uh, novelty problems and adaptation shaping and selection that is the practical is there um, he, he has proposed uh, uh, this particular theory. So, from here we can understand that he is by, by making the components of the all these three right analytical creative and practical we will be able to convert uh, our intelligence level to a next level that is towards the higher level is there. And for this purpose what is required is that is the we have to um, outline the various mechanisms that result in the intelligence. According to Sternberg this sub theory is comprised of three kinds of uh, uh, mental processes or components are there. First is the uh, meta components. Mm, so, Sternberg has further studied on these particular parameters uh, and then he has found that is the uh, there are mm, uh, the mental processes are based, are based on the uh, three, uh, uh, three types of these uh, components. First component is the meta component. Meta components enable us to monitor, control and uh, evaluate our mental processing. So, that we can make decisions, solve problems and the create plans are there, right. So, therefore, in that case uh, the, uh, the meta component uh, is uh, uh, for the uh, control and evaluate, uh, monitor, control and evaluate. Performance component to take action on the plans and decisions arrived at by the meta components is there. So, whatever the meta component has uh, evaluated our mental processing 
on the basis of that men mental processing the, the plans and decisions are, mm, are, uh, mm, are decided it is a performance component is there because uh, we are working on that and then that is why it is a performance is there. Knowledge acquisition component enable us to learn new information that will help us to carry out our plans are there. So, uh, therefore, in meta components normally what we are doing we are making the evaluations right and then evaluations on the basis of the performance and performance on the basis of the knowledge creation. The contextual sub theory uh, says that intelligence is intervened with the individual's environment. So far uh, what we have discussed in the last uh, uh, three, uh, two, three sessions, so that is the in the personality interaction with the environment, Inter environment means that situation or culture, surrounding culture, surrounding uh, uh, these, uh, uh, the practices uh, which you are observing uh, uh, situation then how you are able to uh, react to that. This uh, theory is comprised of three kinds of the components uh, that is the adaptation, shaping and selection is there. In the case of the adaptation when one makes a change within oneself in order to better adjust to one surrounding is there. So, therefore, when, uh, when he wants to make the uh, one's surrounding then accordingly it will be the adaptation will be there and the shaping is when one changes their environment to better suit one's needs is there and therefore uh, what happens that whatever environment is there uh, you 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 are shape you are adjusting with that environment and that is called the shaping is there selection is uh, unsatisfying undertaken when a completely new alternate environment is found to meet individuals goals are there so uh, therefore in that case uh, you are selecting the the suitable environment that suitable culture is there. Uh, the, the further uh, the experiential uh, uh, sub theory has talked about there is a continuum of experience from novel to automation. So, whatever the, there is a new thing is there to convert it into the automation that intelligence uh, can be applied. Mm, it is at the extremes of this continuum that intelligence is the best demonstrated. Mm. So, how it is to be done no novel to automation has been done at the novel end of the spectrum and individuals confronted with an unfamiliar task or situation and must come up with a way to deal with it. So, uh, experience with the experience what happens that is the uh, sometimes yes uh, it is the um, just uh, whatever the environment uh, you come across you are able to adjust. Sometimes you, you have when you come across the unfamiliar task then you have to deal with it. At the automation end of the spectrum one has become familiar with a given task or situation and can now handle it with the minimal thought. So, therefore, in the beginning that is novel to automation is that is in the beginning it was totally new that new environment was given and, and the person uh, what he does uh, he, he is uh, with that unfamiliar task or situation he interacts and deal with it and when he deals with it he becomes a familiar that is uh, okay whenever this type of situation occurs then I have to take this type of decisions or I have to take this type of the steps. When you are taking those type of the steps or the decisions um, uh, then definitely in that case you are ab able to make, a, make a, um, uh, towards your automation. The kinds of intelligence are the analytical intelligence, creative intelligence and practical intelligence is there. So, each sub theory reflects a particular kind of intelligence or ability is there. Academic problem solving and computation, uh, creative intelligence, imaginative and innovative problem solving and the practical intelligence is about the uh, street smarts and the common sense is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, whenever we are talking about the which intelligence will be work, so all type of the intelligence are required at the workplace you should be the good analytical also, you should be the creative also and you should be street smart also. So, there, uh, then again it, it, it we have to consider here the personality and according to the personality you can decide about that is uh, how you are matching uh, and what type of the intelligence would you like to use. For example, if there is a data and information then you will na naturally you will like to create that analytical intelligence will be mo more useful will be there. But if you are coming across a situation which you have never dealt with and that problem has to be solved. So, that is a creative intelligence will be used and whenever it, it is the just you have to negotiate talk and the find out that is why exactly what is the reason and then on basis of that you can go for the common sense also. So, uh, it will be depending upon the individual that is either he can use all the three all the three intelligence uh, at the workplace or he can use the intelligence be one by one. 
the practical intelligence Sternberg called one's ability to successfully interact with the everyday world ca practical intelligence and practical intelligence is related to the contextual sub theory. Practically intelligent people are uh, especially adept at behaving in successful ways in their external environment. So, creative intelligence experiential sub theory is related to the creative intelligence which is one's ability to use existing knowledge to create new ways to handle new problems or cope in the new situation is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, this creative intelligence is uh, which is which is based on the experiential theory uh, which is creating the m m more towards the uh, use of the uh, uh, existing knowledge whatever the knowledge person is having, but uh, with the help of that knowledge. No, no, here I would also like to mention there is a knowledge level knowledge K 1, K 2, K 3, K 4, K 5. So, you are increasing that knowledge management level. So, when you are increasing the knowledge management level you are identifying the new ways to handle the new problems. Analytical intelligence is the, the componential sub theory is related to the analytical intelligence uh, which is essentially academic intelligence right and therefore, in that case uh, like uh, we, we, we see in the PhDs and the research programs that is the, uh, the students are taught that is uh, how to make the analysis and that is the increasing the academic intelligence. So, analytical intelligence is used to solve problems and is the kind of intelligence that is measured by a standard IQ test is there. On the basis of this uh, standard IQ test uh, uh, and we have seen that is this analytical intelligence based on the standard IQ test uh, which, which we can enhance with the our knowledge and experience. So, the implication of the track rig theory of intelligence is uh, leadership effectiveness or emergence is positively correlated with the analytic intelligence is there. And therefore, if uh, you, you are having the high analytical intelligence, high will be the leadership effectiveness that is the result because it is positively related with the analytic intelligence is there. So, therefore, what is required? We have to increase the analytic intelligence. When we are increasing the analytic intelligence, our leadership effectiveness will also increase. Sometimes personality is much more predictive of leadership emergence and effectiveness than analytic intelligence is there. So, therefore, in that case it is not the just because of that uh, uh, whatever the e is there, there is the analytic intelligence is there, but it, 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 it is much more uh, that is the leadership effectiveness uh, which is making the you more uh, uh, successful. A leader's primary role is to build an environment where others can be creative. The trachic theory of intelligence focuses on what a leader does when solving complex mental problems, emphasizes how three types of abilities work together to create intelligent behavior. And therefore, what, what is important is this that is this all three uh, uh, intelligence of the trachic theory that, 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 that has to be emerged right as a positively and emerge as a positively for the effective leadership is there. Now, in the case when you are having that uh, uh, effective leadership uh, then uh, you, you end up using the uh, intelligence then definitely you, 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 it is your thought process. In the thought process the most important point is the divergent thinking and the divergent thinking is defined as the producing a diverse astro, um, assortment of the appropriate responses to an open ended question or task in which the product is not completely determined by the information. So, there uh, here uh, it, it is not uh, that is the uh, uh, already you are knowing the answer and therefore, in that case what, what is required is that is the open ended questions or task is important right and it, it is not completely uh, just by the information you will be able, a, able to solve the problem. So, using your imagination is becoming more, more and more creative. So, divergent thinking concentrates on generating a large number of alternative responses including the original unexpected or unusual ideas are there. Thus, divergent, divergent thinking associated with the creativity is there. Now, here you in this diagram also you can see that whatever the situation is there like a question, question is means a given situation is there. Now, there are the how many ideas do you generate? You generate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are so many and uh, who will be able to generate the maximum ideas right. So, it is expected those who are having the knowledge and those who are having the experience and those who are having the competency. So, they, they will be able to create that is the more ideas. So, as a, the, uh, uh, next to the divergent thinking is the convergent thinking. Convergent thinking involves finding only the single correct answer right. 
So, therefore, it is conventional to a well defined problem. Many facts or ideas are examined while convergent thinking for their logical validity or in which a set of rules is followed. And the, uh, here it, it is the facts, facts will be considered uh, and the convergent thinking will be there. And uh, here in the convergent thinking, uh, so many facts are there. So, you, what you are doing? You are using more critical or you are using more logic. Well, in the case of the divergent thinking, you were using more innovative ideas and more innovations are there. So, here in the convergent thinking, uh, that, that was uh, in divergent thinking, more ideas were created. In the convergent thinking, more facts are concerned and therefore, you are using the logic here. Reaching a problem solution through the recognition and expression of the pre-established criteria and the standard intelligence tests are similarly believed to measure the convergent thinking are there. And uh, here uh, uh, we uh, always uh, uh, it has been found that is at the workplace you may require uh, sometimes to have the divergent thinking or the convergent thinking is there, but standard intelligence is to be developed. A uh, standard intelligence tests are similarly believed to measure the convergent thinking is there and therefore, in that case uh, now as, as per the environment you have to decide about what are the divergent thinking or convergent thinking what will work. The creativity killers, the following is a list of things leaders can do if they wish to uh, stifle the creativity of their followers, take away all discretion and autonomy. So, that will create uh, that will kill the creativity of your followers. So, uh, please never do that, but if you want to do the uh, to kill the creativity do this that is the uh, people like to have some sense of control over their work naturally. Now, what happens No, when you are at the workplace you develop an autonomy, you develop an ownership. So, micromanaging staff will help to either create um, the uh, uh, the uh, easier uh, uh, or cause people to mentally uh, disengage from the work, right. Uh, so, so, therefore, in that case it, 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 it is the that if you do not want to be them creative take away their discretion and autonomy, create fragmented work schedules. So, repeated interruptions are scheduling. So, novel solution generation time in 15 minutes increments around other meetings we will dis disturb people's ability to be innovative is there. So, you will not allow for even for them think the continuously for the 15 minutes on one issue. Provide insufficient resources and then, then whatever the main machine material money method minutes they require and then do not provide them the sufficient resources and they cut these off and watch creativity go down the tubes is there. And therefore, in that case um, now what is the warning is do not be creative killer. If you want to be really leader then give them the discretion and autonomy give them the uh, a proper work schedule and then accordingly will find that is the uh, they will be able to perform. Focus on short term goals mm, this is also creativity killer. Uh, people can be creative and funny if given enough time, but focusing on only short term outcomes will dampen creativity is there. So, therefore, uh, if you are allowing uh, uh, them to create the short term goals only then definitely their creativity is going to be killed. Uh, then they create the uh, tight timeline and the rigid processes. So, therefore, you are not given them the enough time there is no flexible time. So, the, the tighter the deadlines and the less flexible the processes the more chance that innovation will be reduced and therefore, in that case you will find that is the what uh, whenever we are talking about uh, uh, this uh, uh, the development of the ideas innovative ideas then definitely what is required is that is the you have to create them the uh, these uh, uh, the uh, 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 the solutions to the uh, 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 give them the time so that they can think of. Now, discourage collaboration and coordination. The best ideas often come from teams having members with different work expenses and functional backgrounds. By discouraging cross functional collaboration, leaders can help guarantee that team members will offer up only uh, tried and the true solutions to problems is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, you, you what you are doing that is you are not uh, you are discouraging the collaboration and coordination and as you are discouraging the collaboration and coordination the team effectiveness will be decreasing. So, improving the organizational creativity um, the how we can increase the organizational creativity. Uh, so, various sort of incentives or rewards can have various effects on the creativity and the synthetic abilities can be hindered if ideas will be evaluated. 
So, here uh, this uh, uh, the uh, what, what sort of the rewards uh, which we are looking for right that, that will give about that uh, uh, the uh, incentives uh, and uh, uh, rewards uh, are more you are uh, encouragingly uh, encouraging them uh, that is uh, then they definitely at a workplace they will try to solve the more uh, problems and be more creative. Synthetic abilities can be hindered if ideas will be evaluated. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, if uh, uh, it, it is always better that is the we have to encourage the synthetic abilities uh, and uh, there uh, we should not evaluate their ideas and then what to do develop the new products and services the level of turnover should be low and goals should be clear very clear and then then our organizational creativity will increase employee turnover should be low. Now, leaders need to provide enough room for creativity to flourish, but enough direction for default to be focused as well. Now, you see it is a balance is required. So, on one side that is you have to give them the enough room for the creativity and on other side that is you have to give the proper directions. Creeping elegance is therefore tendency of a design project or product cycle to accumulate more and more features or details are there. So, the here it is a more basic level fails to meet the customer needs it should be avoided. So, therefore, in that case it becomes important that is the we, we are encouraging for the more organizational creativity. This cognitive resource theory that, that is which talks about the intelligence and stress uh, is reinvented mention of the Fiddler contingency theory and concepts was given by the Fred Fiddler and the Joe Gracia in 1987. We have talked about the Fiddler's theory, we have talked about the leader member relationship uh, uh, task and the positioning power. Uh, this theory is further extended one. So, cognitive resources theory is a conceptual scheme for explaining how leader behavior changes under stress level to impact the group performance is there. So, here uh, that whenever we are talking about the leader behavior uh, change uh, um, naturally in the given stress level uh, that, that is the it is having the group perform impact on the group performance. So, this theory relates to the leader's intelligence and experience with his or her reaction to the stressful situation. So, leader in a given situation that is how he will be behaving and the, uh, in, uh, so that, that is uh, uh, the, this theory will be helping him to handle this stressful situation. Without thinking logically it clearly how a leader's intelligence and experience influence the way may react to stress. So, cognitive resource, uh, resource theory consists of several key concepts intelligence, stress, experience and the task knowledge is there. And uh, when we, we when we are considering these all these factors uh, uh, and especially in the uh, given stress then we are giving him more time. Because normally what happens in a given time uh, in the stress the, the leader is, uh, uh, is very spontaneous and then he is not having the enough time to use his intelligence. So, theory is based on the following assumptions. The success of a leader depends on certain factors uh, like intelligence, experience and other uh, cognitive means leadership success is not based on cognitive capabilities only and the stress affects the decision making ability is there. So, therefore, these param these are the assumptions are made and if this is the assumption uh, because the not all leaders may, may be the all leaders may not having the stress, but yes uh, some of them uh, may be having these, these uh, uh, stress uh, uh, and they respond to the stress uh, they are so fast. Uh, so, that uh, as a result of which they are not using uh, uh, the proper approach. The theory predictions include the greater experience, but lower intelligence may account for the higher performing groups in higher stress conditions are there. A uh, high level of experience may account uh, for uses of the old solutions when creative solutions are more apt. So, therefore, in that case this is very interesting point and uh, I am sure very relevant uh, for the practical field also. It is a high level of experience may account uh, for uses of the old solutions. Right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, always whenever we say uh, I am used to do this, this is an example. So, then it is the that is account for the uses of the old solutions when creative solutions are more apt is there and therefore, in that case the people uh, they will go for their the old solutions. Cognitive research theory talks about predict whether a certain type of person will be able to lead in a stressful situation or not a wonderful contribution that is the if, uh, if, if the stress level is there and then in a, in a given stress how the person will behave. And the, the, the theory helps the placement of persons in leadership positions by suggesting that people be tested for intelligence and the ability to manage stress in addition to assessing leadership qualities are there. So, whenever we are talking about the assessment of the leadership qualities uh, then definitely uh, uh, we, uh, we will be 
uh, having the positions uh, uh, and the ability to manage uh, then uh, here uh, these particular types of the theories they, they are pr practically helping the person that is the in a given situation what, what, how he can use his uh, the potential. Now, if uh, it differentiates the abilities of a skilled labor uh, from an experienced labor and the indicates how they are useful and the one side that is the old knowledge is there other side uh, other side there is no experience but the solution providers are there so cognitive resource theory helps in understanding the role of intellectual abilities and organizational performance in solving task is there so whatever the role of the intellectual abilities are there then they will be able to command and the organizational performance are there uh, in, so there uh, where high high opportunities more opportunities are there to use the intellectual abilities. However, in a, in a current uh, situation when there, there is a high level of the stress, it will may be very difficult to get the time to, get, uh, to solve this particular uh, uh, in, in, uh, problem and to use the intelligence. So, uh, limitations of this cognitive resource theory is uh, that does not talk about those leaders who have both a good IQ and a good work experience also. Right, because they are talking about that is uh, in a given stress, they, when they will be the high stress, uh, the old solutions will be applicable because of the experience. But there, there is required that is how we can you make the use of the IQ in in a, uh, for the with the work uh, with the high level of the work experience also. Intelligence is not defined. There are many types and degrees of the intelligence, and the cognitive resource theory does not account for them. And therefore, uh, uh, here that what exactly the intelligence means uh, that uh, authors have not uh, described. Leadership implication of CR, uh, the cognitive resource theory is uh, uh, the best leaders are often smart and experienced. Uh, leaders may be unaware of the degree to which they are causing the stress in their followers. The level of stress inherent in the position need to be understood before selection of the leaders are there. So, definitely uh, this, uh, this theory will help us in a different ways. On the one side, it will be helping us to make the aware about uh, to sensitize that is that we should know the stress level of the followers and on the other side, it also help us uh, to understand that is the how our old experience that we can use for solving the problem. For the past 100 plus years the western hemisphere this is the case study innovation in the emerging economy is there that is the whenever we are talking about these uh, Brazil, Russia, India and China then scientists and engineers each year then uh, how they, the ideas can be generated and the technology can be helped to make these ideas into the products are there. So, this is about the BRICS, uh, the expanding middle class of the BRIC countries is giving more people the income needed to purchase new products. Uh, um, with the number of scientists and engineers graduating from the BRIC countries and their uh, rapidly expanding economies, it may only be a matter of time before the West is no longer the center of innovation. Does analytical and creative intelligence of individual play a dominant role in the make of the center of innovation? What do you think are the implications of these trends for the leaders in the West or the BRIC countries are there? So, therefore, whether the, the stress management will be helpful or then it will be done. These are the research papers uh, which uh, you, you can refer for the further studies uh, and uh, their findings uh, um, that will be useful and uh, these uh, the paper which has been given it is based on the CRT how the CRT theory and the research on CRT that is a cognitive resource theory that helps uh, to develop the intelligence. Uh, these are the books uh, which I suggest you can refer more and that is intelligent leadership what you need to know unlock your full potential that is a book recommendations. And and these are the references for the detailed studies uh, which uh, you can uh, 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 refer for the further uh, uh, enhancing your knowledge. So, this is all about the intelligence and the uh, leadership uh, which we can develop uh, at the workplace. Thank you.